What can we move on? You're moving in a situation where on your iPod Touch, you see this black screen, you hold down the power button and the iPod Touch is not turning on. So I'm going to go through a couple of fixes you can follow. So the first one is the iPod Touch may not be turning on because the battery is faulty. And but well, that's not helpful. How do you solve it? Well, you can't really solve it. However, you can use an iPad charger in order to turn on your iPod Touch. So the reason why this may work is because if your battery uh, can't sustain uh, you know, enough power when you're using the regular iPod Touch charger, if you use the iPad charger, it's going to send more power to the iPod Touch. Therefore, it's going to power it on. So here's the deal. Uh, you have two chargers you can use. So I'm just going to show you here. This is like the newer chargers from like 2020, 2021. And uh, basically it's USB type C. Uh, you plug that in and then you just, there's just a lightning. You just plug that into the iPod touch. However, there's also those older iPad chargers. I don't know how to explain it. They look like this, but slightly smaller. This is a MacBook charger. So it's like something in between this and this, and you can use those chargers as well. As long as it's not a regular uh, iPod touch charger, this is the regular iPod touch charger. As long as it's not this, and it's like slightly smaller than that, then you'd be good to go. All you do is you just plug the charger into here and then of course connect to the iPod touch and then see if it will turn on. It may take a couple of hours. However, I should turn on the iPod touch. Now, if that doesn't work, what you can do is something even simpler, which is just doing a force restart. So in order to do a force restart, you're gonna hold down the power and home button together. Now on the newer iPod touch is it's power and volume down. But I recommend you do guys is you uh, do power and home button together if nothing's happening after 20 seconds, you do power and volume down instead. So we're going to hold these uh, these two down together. You can see my touch is fully working. I'm showing this uh, for the process. So it's, you're going to see a black screen. Of course, if you already have a black screen, you won't see it. And once you see the Apple logo, that means that we've uh, initiated the force reboot. And so you can release the power button. You can release the home button and you'll be good to go. Again, guys, if you don't see this screen after 20 seconds, try power and volume down instead for uh, uh, until you see the screen. And then if that works, you're good to go. Otherwise, if that doesn't work, well, you know, you, you're basically kind of screwed. So your battery could be faulty to the point where using the charger doesn't work. There could be a situation where the screen uh, cable has attached on the motherboard. There could be many reasons why you don't see any power. However, if you plug in your device to the iPad charger, that's not working. And the force reboot isn't working. Something, something just isn't working, right? So what I recommend you do before you... you, you basically uh, call your I, uh, iPod Touch EKI. What I recommend you do is you just leave your iPod Touch on an iPad charger overnight. Really recommend you do this uh, because if there's any sort of life left on the iPod Touch and you know things are still not working, then you can establish that to just a battery replacement and you could buy one. How they're most likely gonna be like more expensive than the iPod is worth. Like I was looking at screen replacement for the iPod Touch 6. They're charging 85 pound for one. And I'm sorry guys, but I can get a new well, not new, but a used iPod Touch with a working screen for that same price. So you know, don't go, don't go for the repair route. Uh, what I recommend you do is you just, you know, get a new iPod Touch if you want an iPod Touch. I recommend you just get like an iPhone Seven. The reason why is because the iPhone Seven has the same process as the latest iPod Touch. However, it has a larger screen and a, a home button with Touch ID. Now, if you don't like the larger screens, okay, iPod Touch is probably for you. However, that is something you should definitely recommend. Because otherwise, guys, your iPod Touch is gone, basically. There's not much more to say. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.